If you don't like cheap guitars that represent some of the best value I've ever seen, then today's video is not for you. If however, like me, you love to find rock bottom priced instruments, giving those costing many times as much a really good run for their money, then stick around as we have one such guitar to check out today. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing really well and staying safe in these tricky times. I want to start out by thanking everyone who's emailed me recently with links and pictures and ideas for the Sunday live shows. These shows are really taking off now and I have to say I love doing them because of the great interaction we have. This past week we tried out a new feature where you guys can join me on the live show and that was a lot of fun. I think I've ironed out all the wrinkles now and so I hope to be doing much, much more of that in future. However, you have to be a subscriber and regular to take advantage of that opportunity. And so if you haven't yet, it really not only can't hurt to subscribe or hit that button, but now there's even added benefits to being a subscriber and clicking the bell icon as well. Today, we're checking out another incredible deal from Glarry Guitars. And I have to say that I know you're going to enjoy this one. It's not quite the guitar that I was expecting next, but it's almost the same. For those who recall the banjo debacle, <laughs> you'll have some idea of what's coming today. However, Glarry didn't have the exact model I was hoping to demo next in stock. And so they sent me the next best thing. In this video, we're gonna unbox it, have a listen to the sounds. I'll give you a close up view and also give you my opinions on how it feels to play and then lastly if you stick around until the end of the video I've even recorded a brand new song on it for you to show how it holds up in a mix all those elements are time stamped in the video description so if you're not big into unboxings then you can skip around to the various other bits of the video right let's start by getting it out of the box it's time to get the knife out and open another glary box well, we can start with the usual dust cover, gig bag, whatever you want to call it. Also, we get a cable. There we go, uh, one of the cheap guitar cables. We also get a strap, and these are tiny, but you still get a strap. It is a T-style, but it's not the semi-hollow. This is the solid body T-style. And actually, again, this is really very light indeed. There we go, have a little closer look at the grain. And the neck, it's a 22 fret maple neck. The body is all basswood. And it's got a standard three-way selector, single coil, lipstick style as per any t-style guitar so there it is and the neck is as usual as per the strap it is unfinished maple so there we go give you a, a wider shot of that if you look closely you can see that the fingerboard is a separate fingerboard hence no skunk stripe exactly the same as the strap so there it is unboxed i think it's actually quite a nice looking guitar it's very very light indeed and it does remind me somewhat of the strat and in fact i really quite like this headstock style for a telly i can feel a little bit of roughness around the cut of this nut uh, just a little bit of bit of a rough edge on this corner here as you can probably hear me scraping away at it I have to say that I think that the wood grain on the back of the neck is quite nice that's pretty cool I can't see any blemishes in the body I think this guitar looks absolutely beautiful. Glary call this color yellow, but I think it's better described as a 
dark butterscotch as it appears a much deeper yellow stain and I have to say with that black pick card I think this looks really beautiful. That's all well and good that it looks nice but you're going to want to know how it sounds and how it plays of course. Well as usual we're going to hear it today through our great leveller the Pocket Pod. It's the unit we try all guitars through to give you guys an accurate comparison across all the guitars I demo for you. As ever we'll start with the basic tone and volume controls. So there's a serious issue with the volume pot which seems to have a huge dead spot from around 60% to 90% volume range where it just cuts out and crackles. Some might say what do you expect from a guitar that costs £79 or around $109 at today's exchange rate. Well I've come to expect no issues with electric guitars from Glarry, so this was a surprise. I might expect it from their acoustics, which to be fair, have a lot to be desired, but their electrics are usually really good. I've long used the Gra Glarry Strat as a warm-up guitar, as I love playing it, and it's so light. Although at just two kilograms, or around six pounds, this guitar is slightly lighter than the Strat. Sorry that the volume pot makes for one chink in the armour for the telly so far. However, the tone pot range sounds fine and appears to be linear. Let's check out the clean, affected tone that we love to hear from the pod. <laughs> I'm really pleased with how the pickups sound on these clean tones, although I did have to raise the neck pickup quite a bit to get it to have a decent output in comparison with the, the bridge. The single coil in the bridge sounds great and also makes the middle position sound really, really nice to listen to. However, I found even after the adjustment that the neck pickup still sounds woolly and muddy to me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Do you agree about the neck pickup? Next up, the crunch tones.
Again, I really like positions one and two, but the neck for me still sounds a bit muted and not as clear as I would like. There are certainly useful enough tones though, and maybe, maybe I'm being a bit picky about the neck pickup. However, I didn't have any such issues with the Harley Benton version of this style of guitar. Actually, talking of that, how would you guys like to see a shootout between the Glarry and the Harley Benton basic Telecaster style guitars? If five or more of you mentioned that you would like to see that in the comment section below, then I'll do that video for you really soon. Okay, so tellies are not always great at the more distorted tones, but as ever, we will check them out. <laughs> really nice surprise there from the bridge pickup especially which I thought for a single core really did very well even with the chunkier rhythm tones but definitely with the leads okay let's get some much closer looks at this guitar while also checking out the specs okay so let's have a little closer look at this guitar nice finishing um, the controls while they were a bit of an issue in terms of the volume is a little bit messed up there nice and solid and uh, nicely seated we have got this a very nice powerful single coil pickup there is the ashtray style bridge which I quite like I have no idea what this gap is all about I haven't seen this gap on any other telly I can only think that some of the other bridges they've got they use the same scratch plate on all the guitars and the other bridges may either, either be bigger or the neck is further set in. Uh, there's the neck pickup which I've raised to get it up just that a little bit higher. The finishing on the fret ends is actually really really nice and smooth and no sharp frets here at all. Here you can see the string trees and these really do need replacing although they do seem to hold the tune really really nicely as do these tuners never a big fan of the glary logo stay the stock tuners i haven't pulled these stickers off but this wood grain on the back of the neck is really really quite pretty and it looks good from the side as well the usual heel plate okay so there's one piece of wood two pieces of wood the one that goes through the middle and there is another join here so yeah it looks like three piece and there's the seam of that join running along there but from the front you really don't get the impression that it's a jointed piece of wood you can just make it out there but that is nicely matched on both sides and that's a nice finish there's no veneer top on this we got a little bit of an issue here you know the little bit of wood grain that's sort of hanging off a little bit there and this neck just looks lovely this wood is really really nice grain and all of this for 79 quid I just have no idea how they do it. So there you go, that's the closer look. 
Okay, a really detailed look is a new feature on the channel and I did it because I hope that it will give you a much better idea of the finishing work on this guitar and help you see what you get for so little money. I still don't know how they do it for the price and ship to your door too. <laughs> the only thing left is to hear it in a mix. So I wrote a song that I felt suited the best tones of the telly style and you might be able to tell that the lyrics were somewhat influenced by the guitar too, as it's called Cheap and You're Mine. Certainly the glary is cheap, but it's far from nasty. Let's go and have a listen. <laughs> I'd like to thank my daughter for singing on the track for me and sparing you guys from my vocal tones today. I think she did a great job and I think the Glary Telecaster did too. So what was it like to play is the big question I know that you'll all want to know. Well that's where the really good news comes in as I really love playing this guitar. In fact I think on first impressions I like it even more to play than the Glary Strat which is really saying something. The unfinished necks on these are sanded fairly roughly, but I really like the feel of the wood and it's definitely smooth enough to navigate around the neck at speed while still giving grip for your thumb. The thickness of the neck is also perfect for me as I like a fairly chunky neck. This, as I said earlier, is about an inch thick at the nut, so it's not a shred neck, but then who wants to shred on a telly? The thing that makes this and the other Glary electric guitars so comfortable is the weight. It's so easy to stand with it on a strap for hours on end and you hardly notice it's there. Finally, the guitar is incredibly well balanced and sits on the strap and on the knee perfectly without any neck dive or lift. As always, it doesn't matter what I think, it's what you guys think. I do the demo and you guys do the review in the comments section below. So get your reviewing hats on and be sure to let me have your thoughts on all aspects of this guitar. I really love reading your opinions and I respond to as many as I can. Don't forget to hit that like button if you think I did a good job of demonstrating this guitar. If however, you didn't enjoy it, please be sure to hit that thumbs down button twice.
<laughs> if you want to see more of my content in future or join me on a live show, then you really need to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell too. In fact, do it now. Go on, hit subscribe now and, and ring the bell. Seriously, do it. Okay, thanks folks. I'll be back on Sunday for the live show and again next week with the very best content I can bring you. I really hope you can join me for both and I look forward to chatting with you on the live stream. In the meantime, as always my friends, you take good care.